closer. Gotta stay in frame, Josie. God. Is this good? Yeah, this is good. Hey, girl, hey, and welcome to my own damn show. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. And I'm here with Josie. And Josie is one of my best friends, and she's visiting me, and I haven't seen her in almost a year. Pat, pat, Josie, pat, pat. But today we're making juice. Juice! I've wanted juice for a long time, and now that I have my own place, I can actually juice things, and it's so exciting. So I have my juicer here. This one is the Moulinex Infinity Press Revolution, and I know that goes by a lot of different names in different places, so I don't know what it would be called in your place. I don't know. Just a slow juicer is your best bet because it gets more juice out. Centrifugal will, like, spin it really fast and all the pulp will come out really, really wet, but the pulp comes out of here quite dry. So first we're going to make the Eternal Summer Juice. You're gonna need one papaya. You can put it on the stove. Two peaches. <laughs> Good job, Josie. It's good. There you go. It's okay. We can edit that out. <laughs> and it's okay if your if your friend is incompetent. Two mangoes. Two apples. And however many carrots you feel like having in your face. Huh. Like a friend of hers. Look at this! A friend of hers. Ooh! Mango win! So I have all of my fruit and vegetables cut up for the eternal sunshine juice. And look at that. Look at all the yummy goodness. And the papaya and peaches are at the bottom. And I'm just so excited to get all these juice together. So essentially I call the eternal sunshine the eternal sunshine juice because for back to school, a lot of us are sad that summer's ending. So I decided lots of nice fresh fruits can make you feel a little happier and it's gonna have an orangey yellow color like the sun. So let's get these juicing, shall we? And we finished our eternal summer juice here. I'm just gonna pour it into this empty cider bottle for storage and then we'll catch the taste test later. And we have our eternal summer juice here and we're just gonna give it a taste test. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Very creamy because of the papaya and the peaches and the mango are kind of very soft fruits so quite a bit of the pulp came through but like it's very fine that it's not even bothering. It's just so good. Yeah. Verdict? Out of five? Five out of five. Yes! Gaga! And the second juice is get your brain in gear because it's time for school and you need to get your brain back in gear for that. You will need two kiwis, two, four, six apples, one avocado, some amount of spinach that, I don't know, like a cup packed, I guess, whatever I have left. And mint, if you want. You don't have to. I like mint. It's very cooling, right, Josie? Right. And now we're moving on to our green juice, our back to school brain power juice. The avocado was gross, so we're not putting that in. Yeah, the avocado was disgusting, so we're not putting that in. But we've got our kiwi, and our apple, and our spinach, and our mint over here, so we're good. Let's get started. And I just bothered cleaning my juicer out, so it might be a little bit orangey in there too, but that's okay. And here's our green back to school brain power juice. Got a little bit of the orange left in it, but whatever. Don't waste it, just taste it. Alright, we ready for the taste test, Josie? Ready. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Delicious. 
and if your avocado isn't rotten, like mine was, it would make it very creamy and good. We didn't add too much mint to this, but it added just enough to kind of, you can, there's a little something to it. Just a little minty, a little fun. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Please subscribe and follow my other social media. See you next time. Have a good year in school.